Washington, D.C., three eminent spokesmen for labor and business, William Green, Eric Johnston, and Philip Murray, meet to sign an agreement to promote cooperative post-war industrial relations in the United States. William Green, president of the American Federation of Labor, signs for his union. For the Council of Industrial Organizations, Philip Murray, president. And representing business management, Eric Johnston, president of the United States Chamber of Commerce. Through this new charter, labor and management agree to preserve in peacetime the harmony which has been a solid base for the vast American war production achievement.